Well, he's a high-flying millionaire who loves a little luxury, even craning a $3 million sports car into his penthouse because he can. So who is he? What does a 34-year-old man worth almost $1 billion do with his life? Anything he wants. A $3 million McLaren racing car, done deal. Melbourne's most expensive penthouse, $39 million, done deal. How about the $3 million car inside the $39 million penthouse as a lounge decoration? Easy. So, Adrian, why would you put a $3 million McLaren in your penthouse? Simply because I could. Up to you. Welcome. Home sweet home. Oh, very sweet. It's not quite finished yet, but you get the idea. The view, I must say, is spectacular, outside and in. So you've got the shell of the penthouse. How much is the fit-out going to cost? We're estimating it to be about six to eight million. To six to eight million? Fit it out completely, yep. Now with the car, does it start? Oi, mate, Marty. Mate, does that look like a coffee table to you? That's a $3 million car, mate. You're right, $5 coffee, mate. Don't want to spill it. Clean, clean the mess. Happy now? Why do you like that car so much? It's just a rare car, so it's just a... There's only 75 of them in the world. There's only three of them in Australia. Seems a waste, really. The McLaren can't be driven on our roads, but somehow you get the feeling this go get him rich lister will get his way anyway. Just tell me you're not going to drive the car around the penthouse. I am definitely going to drive this car around this penthouse. During the housewarming party? Oh, yeah, probably during the housewarming party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, hey, it'll be a spectacle. You'll be there. Am I invited? You are invited. How many cars do you have? Over 40. How many houses do you have? Ah, uh, there's about 20 houses, yeah. But you're not going to live here, are you? No, no, no. So what is this place? Just, just a weekender. Just, you know, if I go out to a bar in the city and I don't want to drive home, I'll come here. The old $39 million weekender? Yeah, the weekender. A lot of people out there are doing it pretty tough. Um, when they see stuff like this, what would they think? I was doing it tough once upon a time as well. I wasn't born into this situation. I worked for it and how I choose to spend my money and do what I, you know, I'll do what I want. So some people can use this as motivation to get the life they deserve, or some people can hate and be negative about it. All right, so this is where it all began, right here in my parents' house. This is where I slept and worked for over 10 years, um, and yeah, not a cent to my name. And this little one, Ruby, came along for the journey as well. Like a lot of young fellas, Adrian wanted to be a fireman. Now he's on fire. But to get there was one hell of a journey. It began in America, LA, where he started a limousine business that conked out. Oh, mate, I sacrificed everything. To, you know, even when I moved to America, I didn't know anyone. I was only 20, 23 years old. So you risked it all? Yeah. And had failures along the way? Oh, a ton of failures. But just kept you know, taking what I learned from that failure, applying it to, you know, my new venture, and I'd get further down the track, further down the track, further down the track. Passionate, determined, driven. Adrian hit the mother load with tech startups. The 34-year-old's business portfolio, diverse. There are a lot of uh, businesses in the background, investments, real estate, medical, um, that we are doing, so it's just a, you know, a group of businesses that make up my worth. Adrian's companies turn over $100 million a year, just under $2 million a week. You may recognise Adrian from last year's block auctions. 4.8. 4.8! 4.8! I was fairly low key back then, so no one really knew what I was worth or what money I had. So when I went on the block, yeah, it's a bit of a surprise and people thought I couldn't afford the house, so I just, you know, obviously I knew I could buy all the houses. Come on, I'm sitting in a $3 million McLaren, 200 metres in the sky. Let's fire it up. There we go. Oh, 
blessed silence. Yes. Done. Oh, what? Well, um, there's only one issue now. How do I get out? Yeah, that's going to be the best bit. Here we go. Could someone get me a crane? Oh, yeah. Do you want a hand, mate? There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I've got you. I've got you. <laughs> so, what's this? Our own private lift. To the bar. How's this place? Look at that. Yeah, that's a kitchen. Look at that. Look. I didn't even know this existed here. Can you cook? No. <laughs> we never did get to see that bar. It's still being built, but there is a consolation. Marty, I might not be able to cook, but I know the perfect place to take you out for lunch, mate. Really? Yep. Beautiful. So Fantastic. Let's go. All very exciting, really, even though the ride to lunch is only a $1 million McLaren. I'll get a, a large double cheeseburger meal. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 I got it, I got it. No, don't Seriously? Break, don't break your notes, Jesus. I'm rich, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and Marty's got the cash.